What's up, everybody? Welcome to another on the road edition of the Action Sofa. I've packed up the sofa and taken it home for the holidays, and now I'm forcing my family one at a time to play games they've never heard of, uh, and odds are they'll never play it ever again after this. Um, joining me on this episode is my little baby sister, who is a tiny little thing. She just graduated high school, she's just a waif of a girl. Uh, and uh, I won't be putting a picture of her up on the internet, so all you get is her voice. <laughs> say hi. Say hi, Jordan. Hey. <laughs> um, her name is Jordan, and that, if that raises more questions of why my name is Kim and her name is Jordan, I cannot answer that. Do you have an answer for that, Gordo? No. Um, we'll be playing Don't Starve. You've never played Don't Starve, right? No, never. Have you ever heard of Don't Starve? I saw it a couple times on a Steam sale, but that's... Kind of it. Okay, so the idea is to not starve. Simple <laughs> enough. Uh, why don't you look at the characters here and pick one out? Okay. Um. They all have special abilities. You can see under their names there. So there's more. You can keep clicking over on the arrow. There you go. She has a dead sister that follows you around as a ghost. Slowly drives you crazy. <laughs> Old librarian. You know what? I think I'm just gonna stick with the scientist. That. All right, scientist is a good idea. Um, Wilson is pretty pretty good at what he does. Um, so you're gonna wake up in a uh, a world after it is embiggened and generated. Um, so every world is completely different. There's no world like this that anyone has ever played before. So I couldn't tell you where to find things or how to get anywhere. Oh god! All right. And if you ask questions, I will answer them. Otherwise, I'm gonna tell you absolutely nothing. <laughs> I generally, make fun of you. <laughs> so that's the guy who summoned you to this world, um, dragged you in kicking and screaming using dark magic, and there you are. Okay. All right, don't starve. Day one. So okay. Ugh. <laughs> oh God. That looks like a chrysalis. I'm staying away from that. It's not not a bad idea. I will tell you that's a spider web. <laughs> it's a spider's nest. Okay. All right, oh. finding some food, so that's good. Yeah. So, um, how does it feel knowing that you're my little baby sister, and you'll always remain my little baby sister, and no one will ever be good enough for you? <laughs> I'm not sure. Sounds to me like you're okay with Matthew. Ah, uh, Matthew's a good kid. Yeah. Okay. So. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what to say. Are you a little nervous knowing that people will be watching this on the internet? Yeah, a bit. I'm <laughs> judging you. This is this is the most popular web series uh, in internet history. Yeah. No pressure or anything. Yeah. No, the Queen of England watches. Uh, the Pope did watch, but then we, we blasphemed too much, and so oh. he stopped. Come on, guys. Get together. Yeah. Well. I will tell you, you can use W, A, S, and D to move around, and you can hold space, and he'll pick up things for you and okay. do things kind of automatically. Awesome. And if you have a weapon, if you hold F, he will attack nearby things that are attackable. Okay. Good to know. Yeah. We'll also tell you that um, <laughs> if it gets to nighttime and you don't have a fire, you will be murdered by the darkness. All right. So you might want to take a look at that <laughs> series of symbols on the left-hand side. Okay. <laughs> it might it might help a little bit. I will. That's that's the last help you get, though. <laughs> now you're on your own, unless you ask. All right. So you've watched every episode of the action so far, right? Yes. <laughs> That's the right answer. <laughs> I know you're you're a filthy liar, like all of the family, but 
but I appreciate it anyway. I've done my best to keep up with her. <laughs> so who's better, me or Duncan? You, obviously. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Jump in wormhole, I'd rather not. <laughs> Yeah, wormholes. Wormholes are good for getting around, but they do kind of drive you crazy. So. Yeah, that's something I want to stay away from. Oh, whoops. Mm. So what do you think of the game so far? Having played it for, like, two minutes. <laughs> it's not bad. I can definitely see myself wasting an afternoon playing this. Yes. Over and over again, because you will die over and over again. Yeah. That is kind of the idea. I think the first time I played, I lived two days. Hmm. <laughs> That's encouraging. Yeah. Is yeah. space bar? Yeah. You can just click it, but he was you were just kind of clicking around it, and that's why yeah. he wasn't doing anything. So now you have a pickaxe, so you can use the pickaxe on stuff. Up to and including defending yourself and killing little animals. <laughs> if you can catch them, they're off quick. Yeah, oh god, okay. I would look at light if I were you. So you need... You need grass oh and logs. Oh god. <laughs> I'd pick up that rock there if I were you. Ooh. You should be able to make an axe. Click on that, yep. Now click on the axe. And chop some trees real quick. Oh, <laughs> Let me take a quick crack. Just click it. Okay. No, oh, right click it. Ah. There you okay. go. Chop down that tree. See that little blue triangle up there is oh, okay. actual nighttime. So you have all of kind of dusk to <laughs> chop down this tree and make a fire. Okay. Oh god. <laughs> I I suppose a little extra help could help. Or would be would be generous because watching you die as soon as night comes isn't very much fun. I mean, it's funny for me, but I'm sure the audience actually wants to see you at least make it a night. Again, you can just hold space and he'll chop. Right. Uh, and then he'll also automatically collect everything you chop down. So. Um, if you had the choice of having the most beautiful rainbow poops that everyone wanted to see all of the time, or shooting confetti out of your thumbs, like little hole punch confetti, which would you pick? Probably the confetti. Hmm. <laughs> that is up there on the list of questions I never thought I would be asked in my life. Well, welcome to the action, so <laughs> There's just something about people wanting to see my poop that makes me uh, giggle inside. Yeah. <laughs> or having it in a museum. So just highlight the little, yeah, highlight that. that. It'll tell you exactly what you need. So you need two more grass. Very quickly, because night, night is approaching. Okay. There, yes. you can make a fire. Now you can make a dangerous fire, so you might not want to put that fire next to anything flammable. Perhaps. But you do want to put it down, like, right now. <laughs> Just click it. Yeah, and now click on the ground somewhere. And don't stand directly in, in it. <laughs> yeah, so now you want to stay within the, the light of the campfire. Okay. So that you don't get mauled by beasties in the darkness. Yeah, so you can see these three symbols over here. That's yeah. your sanity. It's slowly going down because it's dark and scary out. Um, this is your yeah. hunger with the stomach symbol. Yeah. You have 97 hunger, and that's and your that's, health. Yeah. If any of those go down all the way, you will mostly die. <laughs> all right. You might be able to cook that food somehow. Just, just saying. Get out of here, cat. <laughs> I need you on my lap. Oh, no. No. Oh, hey! Ah! Oh, I roasted carrots! Indeed. That's exciting. Oh. 
Yes, it looks like you are in spring right now. You're probably moving towards summer and then winter and then fall. It does have a seasonal kind of change every, I think, 20 days or so. Oh. Good yeah. Good. And then nights will get longer and more annoying. Yeah. All right, day two. You made it overnight. Wow. Kind of like Five Nights at Freddy's, except... Well, it's terrifying. Yeah, it's, <laughs> you have more control over what's going on in your life. Have you played Five Nights at Freddy's? No. We were actually going to play it on the show, um, and then everyone was playing it on every show, ever. Yeah. So <laughs> we got, got kind of bored of it. decided not to. Yeah, it's kind of formulaic. Once you once you figure out the formula on how to beat each night, it's not as scary as it yeah. should be. Then it's just a puzzle. Yeah. <laughs> so how many how many actual PC games do you play? Not many. <laughs> Clearly, I played The Walking Dead and then. Um, the Wolf Among Us, but that is yeah, we actually it. We have The Wolf Among Us coming up. Maybe awesome. Have it on the show soon. That's exciting. Yeah, it's a it's a phenomenal game. Have you played all five episodes, or have yes. you only... Oh, nice. Yes. Well, we won't spoil anything. <laughs> um, we'll wait until me and Duncan are playing it to spoil things for people yeah. who are watching. Although, to be fair, if you're watching us play The Wolf Among Us, spoilers are kind of... Like, you have to, to expect expected. them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, if the audio sounds funny, of course I'm on the road, so I couldn't bring all of the audio equipment, so we're using the old toaster mic, um, so we're, we'll probably sound a little farther away. You might hear some bumps and, and thumps in the background, because there are four dogs and two cats in the house. Um, we oh tried to find a quiet place to record, but good <laughs> luck with that. Yeah. Oh my god. Uh, he will, if you chase him all day and forget to get supplies. So you'll notice there's a lot of gaps on that bar on the left. Yeah. Um, you need to kind of build the devices to help you discover more things. Like farms or walls. <laughs> permanent fireplaces. The one you built is a, a temporary fireplace. Yeah. You can build a rock one that you can just feed fuel into. Hmm. Alright. Um. I don't really know what to do. <laughs> well, you're, if, if you, Gordo, were out in the middle of nowhere, um, and every time night fell, something was trying to murder you if you weren't by a fire. Uh, and you were slowly starving to death, what would you do? Um, probably just starve to death. Yeah, that's probably <laughs> true. <laughs> As you said, I'm a tiny wave of a thing. I wouldn't last very long. No. First, first badger <laughs> or large bird would come by yeah. and, and carry you off and that you'd be someone's be lunch. Yeah. Honestly, I'd just use your cell phone if I were you. That's yeah. that's what I would do. <laughs> Although we are in the middle of nowhere, Saskatchewan. When when I was out shopping yesterday, I had no phone signal, and I was I was shopping. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> Welcome back to Saskatchewan, I guess. Yes. A warm welcome from Rogers. Yeah. Thanks, for Rogers. Nothing. <laughs> So that's when you actually picked on it. Oh. Awkward. That sounds horrifying. Mm. I'm. That's that's the other thing. We have uh, we have Jordan wearing a headset so she can hear all the audio and it won't get picked up on the mic. So I have no idea what she's <laughs> talking about. I'm going to assume she's hearing that spider that's crawling around right behind her. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Oop. Oh God. <laughs> you just turn to the map. You I, turn the I map using that. Q and E, so okay. you can always turn it back if you want. Well, that's terrifying. I'm getting as far away from those spiders as I can. Fair enough. They do come out at night. Or if you touch the the web on the ground, they will come out as well. Ew. But 
They won't chase you for too long. They better not. Alright, it's dusk of day two. You're doing pretty good. You haven't starved yet. <laughs> you haven't been murdered by darkness so far. So far. Well, I've probably changed pretty soon. You can also click that scrolly looking thing in the bottom right corner and it'll show you the world. That's your map. Oh, that's useful. Yeah. You've been good knowledge. <laughs> hey, you didn't ask. I told you to tell you things if you asked me. Cat, what did you, you were literally chasing nothing. He yeah. does that. Yeah. Well, he's a cat, so. Yeah. A cat named Norman. Reedus. <laughs> that's his name, right? Nemo. Nemo Redis? That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> hmm. Alright. And you can cook all that food as well. You can cook your berries, you can cook your carrots. Cool. You can at some point learn to. Ooh, it's <gasps> raining. That's not good. Oh no! Oh god. On the upside, you could have picked the robot who gets hurt by rain, but you didn't. You you were smart. You picked the you picked <laughs> Wilson, the beginner character. Yeah. Oh god. And in a few days, you'll have a luxurious beard. <laughs> what are you shaking your head at? Other than the fact it's that really it's slowly stressful. getting darker. Yeah, no. Oh god, it's slowly putting out your fire. <laughs> Throw some logs on there. There you go. <laughs> He's an ass. You may have to do that once more. But that's the reason you want to have, you know, logs and pine cones and grass and stuff to burn so that yeah. you don't end up trapped in the darkness and die. And now you know why I only lasted for two days the first time I ever played. <laughs> mm, fist, a fistful of, of jam yes. for dinner. Delicious. There is a way to make a, a crock pot, which will make better meals for you, but I'm not going to tell you how to do that. I will just tell you that it exists. So if you had to pick a game to play on the show, what would you have picked? I probably would have gone with The Wolf Among Us, but that's, I'm just partial to that game. <laughs> it is, it's an awesome game. 